So I actually showed this kind of Little Mermaid inspired bikini in a haul back in the spring. Now I'm a huge lover of Disney, but this bikini kind of wound up sparking a conversation in the comment section about the possibility of a plus size Disney princess and how cool that would be. And now that we're kind of in an era where you're seeing curvy Barbie dolls, now there's all these different shapes and sizes of Barbies and different ethnicities and they're actually being so inclusive and I thought, wouldn't it be amazing if Disney did that as well? Now they're doing amazing things in terms of finally having some racial diversity within their princesses, but I think it would be so cool to have princesses with different body types because I know for me growing up, having curvy Barbie, in this case curvy Disney princess, would have been so reassuring for me. I was a chubby kid and I remember one time going to Disney for kind of a youth trip and they were telling us that we could all write like Disney princess names on our name tags and I wanted to be Ariel so badly because I loved The Little Mermaid and it was like my absolute favorite. Someone literally stole my name tag before I had stuck it onto my clothes that day and they crossed out Ariel and penciled in Ursula. And I remember it hurt so badly because I remember as a kid always thinking that villains were not attractive because they were mean and no one ever idolized them or thought that they were pretty and the fact that the closest thing to my body that I could get was Ursula just hurt me so badly as a kid and I grew up never saying that I wanted to be a princess or playing princess with the other girls. I know it would have boosted my self-esteem so much if I had had someone that I could relate to or someone who I felt looked even remotely like me. A lot of you guys know that I do swimwear lookbooks frequently especially starting this time of year and as much as I've always loved doing them, I've actually never filmed any of them in public. It's always been in a backyard or a secluded like sector of a park or something like that. I think that for one video last year, I found a tiny piece of beach to film on, but there weren't exactly people around. And so I decided to film in my aerial bikini when I was in LA last on an extremely, extremely crowded beach. It was sort of scary and I felt really vulnerable and especially looking around at all of the people who didn't look anything like me and who definitely were not in swimwear. I kind of went back to that place that I was in at Disney when I was a kid. I felt really unattractive. I felt like I couldn't relate to anyone. And I have to tell you guys, I've never gotten so many compliments in public. I've never been told by so many people all at one time that I looked pretty, that they liked my swimsuit. One girl was literally on the other side of the beach and she yelled, get it girl! We need more of that. We need to empower young girls and women to feel beautiful in their bodies and to love and respect themselves. And that does start when young girls can see figures of themselves, whether it's a Barbie, a princess, a, someone in the media, whoever it might be. It starts with young women being able to look at someone else and relate in some way, to be able to look at someone and be like, wow, that kind of resembles me in this fashion or this fashion and every body, every body is so different that no one is going to hit the nail on the head and make the epitome of every curvy, every petite, every thin or fit or every body type in between. No one's gonna be able to make a perfect representation of anyone, but I think that it definitely starts with being able to look at someone who resembles you. You can then admire and know that you're beautiful too. And I just wanted to share this little story with you guys and talk a little bit about this subject. And I really hope you guys liked it. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did give me a thumbs up, please subscribe to my channel if you have not already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.